So this is just a quick little video for any of you guys running ESP Home and you're wondering why if you go to update your devices, you immediately get this OTA requires a platform key but is not specified error. Now this is really easy to fix. All you need to do is add the platform ESP Home as you can see here under the OTA section. So I've already updated this device. So if I go into my other device here and I just go in front of the password, enter down, then paste that in, I can hit save and then install. And just like that, the error is gone. So for every ESP home device you have, if you want to update to the new 2024.6 or higher version, you can see I'm on 2024.6.4, you're going to have to specify the platform key. So I'm posting this video because it took me about 15, 20 minutes to figure out what was going on. I landed on some random home assistant forum post, and then the guy mentioned, yes, you have to put this in as of version 2024.6.x. So hope this helps you guys out if you have some ESP home devices that will not let you update because it keeps airing out. And the other thing to note is that if you go directly through the actual ESP home updater that's built into home assistant, let me move my head out of the way there. There we go. And I try to update from here it just immediately fails, as you can see here. So I was wondering what's going on because I have been using the built-in updater for ESP Home here for quite a bit. And then I was like, okay, well, let me try to go ahead and update it through here. And if we go to try to update that same one here, so if I update wirelessly, then we actually get the error. So again, I can go in here, I can find the OTA section, which you can see there, this is an older device, I don't even have a key. I just have to put platform ESP Home, hit save, install and just like that it works. So hopefully this will save you guys that use ESP Home some headaches and are wondering why it wasn't actually going through with the update. And this is why, because they changed what's required in the YAML file.